Hello and welcome. All set for the fifth round pose. 14 crucial seats. A very very exciting phase. Amethi, right? What what all does this uh, phase have? It has Amethi. It has Rivalry. It has Ayodhya, and it has so much more. I think all eyes are on Amethi. It has. Yes. The four members of Gandhi have represented it uh, since early 1980. Only twice has the Congress lost here. Yeah, and uh, you had Sanjay Gandhi, you had uh, Rajiv Gandhi, Sonia Gandhi, and Rahul Gandhi. But they never faced the type of the fierce contest that they are yes. facing today. Yes. And today BJP has made it an issue. It is a prestige issue for BJP to defeat Rahul. Absolutely. You have been there and you have seen the aggressive campaigning yes. by yes. Smriti yes. Irani, yes. yes. who is uh, working very hard uh, along with the BJP cadres and the PM has also addressed rallies and I suppose that Amit Shah is also going? Amit is caught between loyalty and newfound reality which in essence sums it up. Uh, you know how this contest is shaping up Rahul Gandhi, BJP is building up the narrative that Rahul Gandhi is you know contesting from the YNR is, uh, is a sort of admission of defeat. The Congress is claiming that perhaps these, uh, these, 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 this is but natural and uh, this will fit the two constituencies in, con in competition with each other. So it's all boiling down very nicely. But they are not putting the same kind of uh, focus on rivalry. You said loyalty and reality. I would say it is between aspirations and uh, bonding yes, and absolutely. emotions and sentiments. Yes. Because uh, most of the MET people are very, very close to, they have a personal rapport with Rahul Gandhi. So whether their aspirations, their dreams, are going to prevail over them and they'll forget that bonding and see and the way. VIP tag that they enjoy because yeah, of that. Yeah. And uh, as compared, if you look at rivalry, then I think they, uh, BJP has decided to give it on platter to Sonia Ji and uh, they have not fielded. I think they tried for a brief while then gave it up. They uh, didn't even try. Why? They did not even have so a there was a Modi rally and. Uh, Modi rally doesn't make a difference if you, know, you have such a poor candidate yes. who was early with Congress and perhaps worked for Sonia's yes. uh, election. Yes. And today he is facing her. Just in MNC and yes. uh, Sonia Gandhi, she has been party president. Uh, yeah, there's, but, there's no comparison between the profile of the two. Yeah, and absolutely. also because the library is a seat where even today, if you talk to people and especially women in, in, the, in the interiors of villages, and they, they'll say, oh, Indira Gandhi, or they'll yeah. say, okay, we remember hand the symbol of uh, Congress. Yes. So the library is all together, and I think as I as I, as I say it that uh, BJP has decided to defeat son and uh, you know trying to pressurize the mother by defeating the son. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because that's the Shaiva that they call it. Priyanka's statement that well we are going to we, we have fielded strong candidates, but wherever candidates are not strong, we are fielding them with the intention to turn into BJP vote. Uh, uh, no, uh, a statement that was denied uh, that it no, uh, reacted Amish, deniers I, by SPB. Manish, I personally feel why we look at Congress as a spoiled sport is because. They don't have very strong candidates in every constituency. Alliance has more strong candidates. Alliance arithmetic is better. So wherever Congress doesn't have a strong candidate, they are uh, playing spoil sport by taking away a section of Muslim and uh, Dalit votes. Coming to when they say that we are damaging uh, BJP, I doubt because uh, Brahmins are solidly supporting BJP. They they like Priyanka. Uh, they are attending her meeting, but they are not going to vote for. Uh, Congress in this election, except on seats where they are winning and where their candidates have a personal rapport with them. So let's come to Lucknow. Well, Lucknow, we have the Union Home Minister Rajnath Singh yes. contesting from here. And uh, there is a very interesting tale. He is jumping around, meeting all the Muslim clerics, taking their blessings. Where is the Congress candidate, Acharya <laughs> yeah. He is yeah. Acharya. Uh, he's, um, he runs an ashram yes. and he has got saints from all across. Uh, yeah. So Rajnath is having a ratification from uh, clerics who are saying that when we are going to support him and here we have a congress candidate who is, being, <laughs> who is getting certificates from the CS yeah. or from his But glamour, uh, uh, if Sonakshi Sinha uh, is the glamour. Sonakshi Sinha is uh, candidate in Lucknow and Shatrugan Sinha. He is supporting SP candidate here but she is his wife and he says they can do. So I think Lucknow is a very interesting uh, constituency and Rajnath Singh is on a very safe ticket. Perhaps yes. it's the margin that is worrying him. Yes, yes. But elections is you can't be, yes, you can't be sure. unpredictable. Absolutely. So we really don't know which way uh, the water will go and which way the wind will blow. Yeah, as, 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 as they say, the game is not over till the last ball is bowled. Yeah. <laughs>